Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to connect music to motion design in Unreal Engine 5.4 to create an audio visual. Here's a preview. To get started, I created five spheres and I added a mist of colors to them. You can use whatever sort of static mesh you'd like for this effect. Once you have what you need, go ahead and head over to motion design mode. Click Actor, then Cloner Actor, and add one to your scene. With the cloner selected, zero out the location and rotation. Hit this down arrow and delete the default cube as we'll be adding the spheres to our cloner. With all the spheres selected, make sure the mobility is set to movable, and then go ahead and drag them into the cloner. And now, once in the cloner, Go ahead and go to layout, keep grid, and let's change the count. For count Z, let's make it one, and for count X and Y, let's make them both 500. Now one thing I wanna do is make the spheres more random so that they're not in lines. And in order to do that, go under renderer and mesh render mode. Instead of iterate, change it to random. And now we can go ahead and add an effector actor to the scene. With the effector selected, go ahead and zero that one out as well. Let's increase the scale to 10 just to make it more visible, as well as increase the thickness from 0.5 to 10. And now when I hit G to show my icons, the effector is a bit more visible, which is very nice. With the effector selected, I'm going to increase this axis to 1000 and 10. And in order to see this effect take place, we need to link it to the cloner. So with the cloner selected, find this effectors and hit this plus button. Then with the down arrow, choose the effector we just created. And now we can see the effect taking place. One thing that I don't like is that it's plateauing right here. So if we select the effector again and go to inner radius, we can change it from 50 to one. And now it's creating more of a cone shape, which is what I want. And now for easing, feel free to play around with these. I found the best one for an audio visual is inelastic. And now let's go ahead and add our music. So I'm just gonna delete it from my scene to start and I'll add it back in a second. So with the effector under magnitude, right click right here and go to sound wave and scale. Feel free to play and add more of these. I found that scale works the best for an audio visual. And now open up this operation stack and make sure the effector is still selected and go to animators. And this is where we'll be adding our music. So I found this sound on freesound.org. It's called Chance and it was made by Seth Makes Sounds. So go ahead and add that here. And you'll see that it's super small right now. And that's because this is a scale and the global magnitude is set to one. So if we make this 250, it will increase that quite a lot, which is what I need. And right now it's moving, but I want it to move with the sequencer. So let's make sure we add our sound to the sequencer. If you haven't made one, you can just add one right here. And now instead of world for time source name, change that to sequence and then add abyss sequence underscore zero. And now when I hit play, it'll be moving to the beat. I'm gonna lower my volume and keep it going. And so I don't like this blackness going around. So what I'm gonna do is change this magnitude in the effector section and make it 0.25. And now that's better. And I need to increase the Z in order to get the effect that I was showing in the beginning. So I'm gonna make it 50,000. And now we're there. Let me increase the music again. And if I hit play, we have an audio visual. Feel free to play with these values as well as the easing. You can even make it a box if you want. But yeah, this is the basic of it. I hope this helps you. And if it does, please like and subscribe. That would help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Have a good one. Bye.